Good morning everyone, how are we all? Hope you're all alright. It is Wednesday, November the 27th, and oh, I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm very tired indeed. Uh, it's been a rather long few days. I'm not sure when my day off was last week, but I think I've done about five days in a row, which, you know, is that's just a working week. <laughs> but it's uh, it's been a couple of back-to-back -back shifts that have just taken it out of me. I, I was working Sunday night. I didn't really sleep very well Sunday night, I think. Uh, I was closing on Monday night. Then I was on all day yesterday. And now I'm going in for a meeting this morning. So uh, a little bit drained. <laughs> but um, otherwise all okay. Just... Ooh, Oh, that's bright. Just a nice, kind of casual, slow walk into work. I'm not, not too fuss. Let's put it this way: like it's a whole team meeting, and I may very well be late, but I will not be the latest. Guarantee that. <laughs> Christmas decorations already. It's too early. It's not December yet. Winter haircut coming along nicely. You know, just kind of going it out for winter fringes long, stretches around my nose a little bit now, which is, it's a thing. <laughs> I, uh, I've, I just decided I was, I don't think I've had it cut since like May, I think. I just thought I want to grow it out for a little while. I always kind of, I always go from that, like when my hair's short, I'm like, oh, I want it long now. And then when it's long, I'm like, oh, I want it short now. It's too unmanageable. Like, even when it gets windy, like this bit here, it took a lot of time and effort today to get that to be where it needs to be, and now the wind's just completely putting it to shame. Never mind, you'll just have to look at me like this for a little while. I have good news, everyone! And it is good news. It is good news. It's, it's some of the best news ever. Some of the best. You'll love it, trust me. You're gonna love my news. Was that a good Trump? I don't know. I, uh, Trump's one I kind of work on every now and then. I don't know if it's actually that good or not. The mannerisms are there. You've got like the pursed lips, the kind of half-closed eyes, and kind of re repeating yourself with the addition of hyperbole and mass exaggeration. And then you just kind of need to make your voice a bit kind of feathery, I guess is the word I would use for it. You're going to love what I have to say. It's, it's beautiful. It's some of the best, some of the best things that you're ever going to hear. Something like that. Uh, the voice isn't quite right. The voice isn't quite right. It's halfway there. It's kind of... It's similar to my Kermit the Frog in that you can tell that that's what it is, but it's not very good. Because Kermit the Frog is <laughs> kind of high-pitched and nasally. <laughs> it's not really Kermit the Frog at all. Anyway, good news, everyone. That's my Farnsworth, which we've already been through. Again, I seem to do a lot of voices but not a lot of voices well. <laughs> I think it's probably the conclusion we can come to. Oh, something smells good. Whatever they've got for dinner later smells nice. Anyway, back to the good news, everyone. See, I think it's too, it's not quite <coughs> American professory. It's still quite English. Good news, everyone. Good news, everyone. Like, there's not much. There's not much difference between the two, is there, really? Anyway, my news. So, you may remember one of my best and closest friends, Ben. He uh, came out to visit me while I was in Canada. We went out to Toronto together. Uh, we lived together for a year. So, if you've been watching for a few years, you may know who Ben is. Anyway. He took his girlfriend out to Vancouver earlier in the year and made her his fiance, which is wonderful. Very happy for them. But then he has now asked me to be his 
best man. And of course I said to him, what are my responsibilities and what are your expectations? Just so that I know how badly I can not meet them. <laughs> and he said he had none, which um, was flattering, I suppose, in a way. But also not. It meant that there's no, uh, there's no reason for me to worry at all. Because <laughs> he's not expecting anything. But at the same time, he's not expecting anything. No, I think it was all it was all in jest and it was all in jokes, which is which is good. So obviously, he said yes, but now that means that I've got to start thinking of all the dumb stuff he's done to put into a speech. <laughs> which actually, that's the hardest part. I have no no issue with standing up in front of a room full of people and talking to them. That's absolutely no issue to me. I've got a degree in drama. If that was an issue to me, then violin practice. If that was an issue for me, then drama really would have been the wrong degree, wouldn't it? So that's all fine. I just need to find some stuff to say. And that is what is going to be the tricky part. But it's okay. He's got like three siblings. I'm sure his parents have plenty of stuff. That, uh, that they can share. I asked my dad what it was like because uh, he happens. He was uh, he was best man for his brother, who or when when he got married, um, and he said that uh, it was one of the scariest things he's ever had to do. <laughs> and. Um, Apparently he was asked to be someone else's best man, and was like, no. <laughs> he um, only only ever really want, only ever did it the once. I think but he didn't just outright say no. I think he said he expressed it a bit more tactfully than that. He was like, oh, I think actually this person's probably a better fit for the job. You should probably ask them, or something like that. But uh, that doesn't fill me with too much confidence. But it's fine. Uh, wedding isn't until like 2021, so I've got plenty of time to put stuff together and Ben's got plenty of time to make a fool of himself, which is what's important. I've got to organise a stag do and I said I hope you're happy with a museum. <laughs> I'm Because I, I, I don't buy into all that at all, I'm not a stag do person. It might surprise you to learn I'm not a lads, lads, lads kind of guy. I don't really do clubbing or... I don't really, I'm not really interested in, I, I mean, I, I've, I've already been told no strippers, which um, I've been led to believe is a staple of the, the stag, so I've already been told that by Ben specifically, and I was like, you don't get a say, and then his fiancée said no, so fine. Uh, I, I was going to tell you what I'm going to do instead, but I realised I can't really tell you anything that I'm planning because he may see this and then that will spoil it all. Or actually what I could do is tell you everything I'm planning and then do something entirely different. And then he won't know. Will you, Ben? How you all doing everyone? It's Thursday, the 28th of December. No, it's not. It's uh, the 28th of November. Gosh, yeah. Would have been very concerned if I'd have just randomly missed out a whole month of, uh, especially because it was November yesterday, if I'd just lost a month's worth of time without even really noticing, that would have been bad. Anyway, yeah, hope you're all doing okay. Uh, just fine, thank you. I have begun to think about Christmas shopping and I think that's why I said December was because that was what I was going to talk about. I have a few ideas for some people, obviously I can't really say anything because that would give it away. I drew my secret Santa at work so I need to think about that too. That's going to take a little bit more thought of, hello fat pigeon.
Yeah, so it's going to take a little bit more thought to think about my secret centre. Mm -hmm. However, I feel like I may have some sort of idea. Possibly. I don't really know. We shall see. I don't even know what I want this year. What, what, I, what I would like is probably the better way to put it. I don't know what I would like this year. Some vague thoughts, maybe, but I mean, I could do with some new symbols for my drum kit. To be honest, right, I would like to just get an entire new kit. It's expensive, and I haven't really got anywhere to store it. So, uh, like, uh, to store it cleanly, if that makes sense. At the moment, it lives in the garage, and when it rains, the garage leaks a little bit, so it gets a bit wet and in uh it's in a bit of a bad way spiders and things make their homes in and around it so it's also covered in cobwebs and stuff other bits of debris that have fallen from the roof and things like that so if i get an entirely new kit i don't really want to be keeping it in the garage i want to be keeping it nice and pristine for as long as possible as you will have probably seen in any of the drumming videos that i've uploaded that you may or may not have watched the kit's in a bit of a bad way at the moment. Um, I'm not sure if it's totally savable in terms of cleaning, which is going to make selling it on a bit of a problem, but uh, I don't know. Maybe if I just advertise it as well loved, <laughs> maybe that uh, maybe that would uh, justify it a little bit. You know, it's kind of one of those sales tactics of where you're basically saying it's not very good without saying it's not very good and actually you know what for that kit it's pretty all right i've had that that's the only drum kit i've ever owned other than an electric kit i got when i first started playing over 10 years ago is it over 10 years yeah yeah i think i started playing when i was around 16. so i had an electric kit for about a year and then my uncle were, that came across like that kit and said look if uh, if you want the acoustic kit that I've got at the moment then would you give me the electric kit because my cousin wanted to learn how to play I was like yeah seems like a fair trade and that's that kit out there that kit has been the only one I have ever owned and is just one that I have built onto with symbols anyway did try and buy new drums for it but it turns out that most drum manufacturers kind of manufacture their hardware for their drums only. So the uh, like the drum stands and drum racks and stuff like that, if you get it from one manufacturer and you get your drums from another, chances are they aren't going to marry up and be connectable. I have got another drum in the garage that has just sat there because I haven't got any hardware to attach it to, which is a bit of a pain. I mean, I've got hardware to attach it to, but I can't angle the drum properly. It's just like sheer vertical for the skin, which is no good to play on. So, a whole new kit would be not. I don't expect a whole new kit for Christmas, but a whole new kit would be a real pipeline dream. Other than that, I don't really know. I don't really know. Tattoo money, maybe. Maybe I'd get another one. I don't really know. When it comes to gifts and stuff around like Christmas and birthday, I would 100% of the time just prefer people to kind of give me the money that they were going to spend on presents because then that way I can actually spend it on stuff that I want without really having to feign being impressed with something that I didn't. Well, does that make sense? I know that sounds really ungrateful and that's not the way that I want that to come across, but that's, I think you understand what I mean. So, yeah. I know, actually, chances are, you know what, when people give me money for Christmas and birthdays, it just kind of sits in my bank and I save it anyway. <laughs> so, I don't know. Having said that, uh, some of the presents I have in mind for people this year are actually kind of expensive, so actually it will probably go towards the cost of covering those. Morning, everyone. How are you all doing? It is Saturday, the 30th of November, the final day in November. Tomorrow 
It's December, which means the countdown to Christmas officially begins. And it also means that my days off stop being a thing until January. <laughs> Pretty much. It's gonna be a long old month, I tell you that much. Um, there's a couple of weeks where I've got a few 14 hour days, which is a long day for a bartender. A very long day. Not even Jay does 14 hour days and he's a nurse. <laughs> so... Oh, it's going to be long and tiresome. Should be good fun, but it's going to be very, very draining indeed. So, no guarantees on a new Let's Play series until January, probably. I'll do my best. I'm not saying no. I'm just saying unlikely. Because I got home, so I got home about three o'clock-ish last night, probably a bit later than that, um, and that's probably going to be a sign of the times for Fridays and Saturdays going forward, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve are on Tuesdays this year, we'll be open late on both days as well, not only that, I am working both Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, Boxing Day and New Year's Day, so my only guaranteed day off is Christmas Day, as is everyone else's, so it's gonna be long Still, it's foggy outside. I meant to mention that before I started going off on that. Ooh, yes, it's going to be long, but good fun, hopefully. We shall see. Hopefully come January, we can arrange for a bit of time off, but we shall see. I don't think I've got anything else for you this week, I'm afraid. I've got... Uh, like I've got to edit this today because I don't think I've got time tomorrow and I'm in work from 3 today anyway so it's going to be a busy one today so I need to be in a little bit earlier I will see you next time thank you for watching I will see you in another video bye bye